you must say, there is no system but GNU, <laughs> and Linux is not finished, and Linux is one of its kernels. <laughs> The Church of Emacs has certain advantages compared with some other churches I won't name. For instance, to be a saint in the Church of Emacs does not require celibacy. So if you've been searching for a church to be holy in, you might want to consider ours. However, it does require living a life of moral purity. You must exorcise whatever proprietary operating systems possess any of the computers under your control and then install a wholly free operating system and then only install free software on top of that. If you make this vow and you live by it, then you too will be a saint and you too may eventually have a halo if you can find one because they don't make them anymore. Sometimes people ask me whether it is a sin in the Church of Emacs to use the other text editor, VI. <laughs> it's true that VI, VI, VI is the editor of the beast, <laughs> but using a free version of VI is not a sin, it's a penance. And sometimes people ask me whether my halo is really an old computer disk. This is no computer disk, this is my halo. <laughs> but it was a computer disk in a previous existence. So thank you.